Hello everyone welcome back again on the Fortune TV show please subscribe and hit the bell icon for future video notifications, then leave a comment down below for this video and even thumbs up and share if you found useful information from this YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss the real reason behind the delay of KYC verification because many pioneers have been wondering whether the Pi network is legit or a scam and now I wanted to make clear to every pioneer who thinks that the Pi core team are there doing useless task behind the scene please watch this full video for the answers to the question that you have been asking yourself about the Pi network project. And even KYC verification delayed soon I hope that you have to understand that they are doing their best. Now let's get started. There was a batch of KYC quotas that have been released a few months ago one after another to prepare mass KYC for many pioneers, but the project side is still working hard to overcome the KYC verification problems. So now there is one action you must do before judging. Please watch this full video till the end if you seek the answers to the question that you have been asking yourself about the Pi Network project and I hope you will get all the answers that you wanted to hear. The public number of Pi Coin Research Institute wishes you all the family reunions, all your wishes come true, forget all your troubles for the time being, but don't forget to light up the lightning on daily basis. Because Pi Coin is our hope in 2022, persistence is victory. Recently, some pioneers around the world have been receiving KYC invitations, which means that the project team has not stopped for a moment and has been working hard to promote KYC and it was a testing period. Once KYC is passed by those few pioneers who got the invitation to complete KYC verification, so now our turn will be there too so now let us wait for the project party to send KYC invitation to us so soon to come, besides continuing to light up the lightning button and soon or later it will increase our mine Pi coin soon and many pioneer will become a millionaire through the coin they mined for free but remember in crypto, we win and gain more profit according to the patient we showed to the project. After passing KYC verification all the coins will be mapped to our wallet, and the next step is to wait for the barter in this enclosed network, while waiting for the open network. However, when filling in the information, some pioneers reported that, as shown in this picture, it was unsuccessful, and they were often stuck on a certain step, and finally failed to pass KYC. From the answer of the senior management, some pioneers have already received KYC invitations one after another. However, it is still in the testing stage. There are still some problems in the KYC process because KYC.py is application program that is found in Pi browser so this program is the one Pi core team is about to use and it is very heavy to be supported by every mobile, right? And this should be the reason but don't worry KYC will come soon because Pi core team is working on it. For example, when entering the identity certificate, a white screen appears, which makes the whole process impossible. The administrator is also collecting relevant problems and submitting the information to the core team. Generally speaking, according to the feedback given these are several factors that make it impossible to pass Pi Network KYC verification. 1. It is related to the mobile phone model. 2. It is related to the network environment used by the mobile phone. 3. It is related to whether the mobile phone uses Wi-Fi or data traffic. 4. Is it related to whether the mobile phone has a SIM card inserted? 5. It is related to the operating system of the mobile phone. 6. It is related to the version of the mobile phone Pi application and Pi browser. The project has been promoting KYC in an orderly manner, but there are still some problems to be solved on the way forward. Once the test is completed, KYC can be pushed out in a large area, and Pi pioneers only need to wait for the success of Pi. The administrators have also been collecting information in this regard for timely feedback to the core team. I believe that the core team has been working hard, and impatient pioneers can enter, KYC, Pi in the Pi browser, and check your invitation every day. According to the feedback from pioneers, there is one action you must do, which is to upgrade the browser. If the version is too low, you cannot pass KYC just remember to upgrade your Pi browser and you will be ready to pass KYC. If you would like to join Pi Network Pioneer use the link in the description when they ask for the invitation code use AlloysMet and it will increase your mining rate just remember to subscribe, like, comment and that's it for today thank you for watching see you in the next video we love you.